I am the rocket man they talk about. I jump from star to star, I walk it out. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Soldier Gameplay. I'm your host, Shibby2142. With me this week is my good friend, Team Fortress 2. Trading! Yes, trading! It came out, guys. We got the poly pack count. It is out. Go check it out in the Manco store. You can buy shit. It is awesome. So being the best soldier in Team Fortress 2, obviously, I went and got the soldier pack. So I got my black box, which is renamed it Carl Gustav. What up? Who got that reference? want to thank my boy Serbian Dude. He helped me out with that. So then you get that. You get the battalion's backup, which is like a horn t thing, like the buff banner, but more defensive. And then we got the Grenadier soft cap, so we're going to play a little bit. And I'll talk about the black box, which is mine, Carl Gustav. You get one less rocket, so you get three rockets, but it heals you 15 damage per hit. Thank you. So you're thinking, well, what if I hit two guys? You still get 15. What if you crit someone? You still get 15. What if I do splash damage? You get 15. What if the damage wouldn't do 15 anyway? I still think you get 15. So here we go. We're owning it up, as per usual. What up? And uh, yeah, the black box basically valves like, how can we make the Shibby 2142 guy more OP? as an overpowered. They're like, let's make the black box and have him rename it Carl Gustav. And he's just gonna run train on everyone. And that's pretty much what's going down. So what else can I say? You like Team Fortress 2, you gotta check out my channel. Obviously you're doing that right now. So anyways, moving on. The black box, it owns. It owns! FES Doug, what up? Yeah, so enough about the black box. I'm getting a half chub just thinking about it. Let's talk about the battalion's backup. So you gotta take 175 damage from the enemies or yourself not from rocket damage, but from fall damage. So you can do that before uh, the gates open. So if you want to do that and charge it up, you can. Um, I wish you luck, so it'll take a long time, but you can. And then basically, the meter, the rage meter in the bottom right, will fill up as you take damage, and then it'll turn red. And then you switch to your secondary weapon, which, it, you know, that's the slot it takes up. You obviously fire it, and then it blows the horn, which takes about three seconds or so. And then you get 15 seconds of immunity to crits. You get 35% damage reduction from damage taken. And those are some awesome, awesome bonuses that you get. And now you're thinking, well, what about mini crits? Still the same. It treats it like crits, so you just take normal damage. My only beef is it does take a, you know, a couple seconds to get off, which leaves you vulnerable, which I'm not really used to. But, you know, everyone's got to have a weak point at some point in their gameplay. So let's talk about trading a little bit. Trading is awesome. I'd like to give a shout out to Misto. He gave me a free drill sergeant hat. I love you. Thank you so much for that. And it's interesting to see that I finally get some health healed as soldier. So that's my new best, but I've beaten it since then. And once again, I just want to give a big shout out to Serbian, dude. Man, I love you. Thank you so much. So moving on, then you get the hat, the uh, Grenadier's soft cap, which is kind of like a little baseball cap type thing from World War II. I think it's pretty sick. Um, I like it with the earbuds, it looks really nice with the white on black contrast. And obviously we're rocket jumping here, trying to get the point. Owning up with the black box, what up? You know, you know it's true, and then you die, you know what happens like that, because the team's not pushing up. So once you're wearing those three items in that bundle, you get a 20% damage reduction on sentry fire incoming. So, that's pretty nice, you know, it's not like game changing and super OP. But say I'm playing on offense and there's 10 NGs on the other team, you know, I'll think about making that combo, but since this video I got the Chieftain hat, shout out to Serbian Dude again, and I'm rocking that because that thing is awesome and it's probably my favorite hat right now next to my T-Helm that I want to rename to 3%, so that's what's up. So we're just making everyone sit, which is pretty usual, but the funny thing is I get the Banner of Brothers uh, achievement for soldiers, the last one I needed. And I, I checked the list, because I'm like, wait, what? How'd I get that? You know, more than half the team is on my friends list, which is awesome. So I, I really enjoy you guys playing with me. It makes it so much more fun. And this, this, this whole night was a blast. So this is the first of probably four soldier videos just from this night. So this will be the first one. I'm still working on the other ones, but I expect them to come out soon. With using the black box, getting 15 health every time you make a hit on someone. You really can stay alive for a long time, so it kind of introduces a, a different way to play soldier now. Instead of just doing the, the roaming soldier and using the equalizer to get to your health and stuff, you can fight and then like earn your health back, which is really, really cool. And it's just perfect for me, because I mean, I do both, and I can play pocket medic or pocket soldier as well. And I'm thinking the black box is not a, just a complete upgrade for everyone. For me, it really is, because I think I'm pretty good with making the rockets hit. 
when I shoot, so I really get the full potential out of those three rockets. You know, instead of just having to spam because you have that extra rocket, the fourth one with the regular rocket launcher, or if you want to use the direct hit, I personally hate it because I play for splash damage, that's just my style, kind of from like Quake and other games. So, I mean, if the direct hit's your thing and you're all about the air shots and the fast rockets and all that stuff, you know, go ahead. I'm not, you know, telling you you have to use the black box, but for me, my play style it is awesome. I just, it's so good. And I know some of you thinking, like, well, Shibby, you're a big scrub because you paid money for items. Well, I have a couple reasons why. First, I had some extra money to spend. It's really not that much. I mean, Valve, Valve earned it from me. I've taken a lot away from this game. And I've made a lot, I've met some awesome people, and it's just, I, I kind of owe it to them. And the fact that I play Soldier, and I really wanted to get this video done and out. I'm obviously not as fast as I can, because I wanted some quality footage. But for me, it was just worth it to get this video to you guys to show you what it was all about. And then if you're still thinking, well, those reasons aren't good, I mean, it's, what was it, 18 bucks? Whatever. I mean, honestly, that's, at any job, you can earn that within three hours of work. So if it's really that big of a deal, either you're 12 years old and don't have a job, or you're just lazy. So it's really either of those. And if that still doesn't make sense, I'm going to say, well, go back to playing WoW. You know why? Oh wait, that's right, because you pay a monthly subscription fee to play a game. Sometimes at, le at least 15, and sometimes 20 bucks a month if you have, you know, a couple characters. So the whole argument that, OMG, you're paying money for items and all that stuff, you know, Valve's earned it. Go back to WoW. That's just what I want to say about that. Or Call of Duty. So if you want to go buy some map packs, that's cool too. Anyways, it's the month of October. So know what that means. Playoff baseball and Shibby's birthday. So my birthday is coming up on the 22nd. It will be my golden birthday. So on the 22nd, I'll be turning 22. So I don't know what I'm going to do for that. I don't know if I'll be playing Team Fortress, but it's going to be awesome. And I'm going to have a big party. And who knows, I might go out, you know, drink a little bit, come back. Play some Team Fortress with you guys? Who knows? We'll see. And I want to add at this point that if you're using my spray, you're the shit. Especially if you're using my old one. That's really funny. I like the new one better. I think the font looks nicer with the shadow on the shibby. Anyways, if you're using my spray, thank you. It helps. I know people are seeing because I get messages. They're like, hey, who found shibby's channel through seeing a spray on Team Fortress 2? And I know there's people out there, so thank you, thank you, thank you for using it. I know some of you want to play Arena against me or with me or whatever. It's totally on now, especially with this black box for me, Carl Gustav. It's just the perfect weapon. It's it's so good for me. I just I absolutely love it. So if you haven't seen the new soldier hats, you can just check out my backpack. I now have all the soldier specific hats, which is just awesome. I'm so happy about it. So uh, definitely check it out. I like the the chieftain is definitely my favorite out of the new ones. And uh, yeah, take a look. I want to give a shout out to Brock. He bought me a Serious Sam HD straight up, so thank you for that. And Mansell One, he skinned my rocket launcher and my black box, which you will see it probably in the later videos. It has Shibby2142 written on it, which is just really sweet. So we're playing a little pocket medic with Slinky. You know, just roaming around, shooting people, and then I get stabbed by Serbian Dude. He plays a pretty mean spy, so watch out. If you're in a duel with him and he's playing spy, you're probably going to lose. I know I do. So we're still playing defense here, same map, and then Serbian, he wants to duel me. So a little menu like that will pop up, and you click yes or no. And of course I accept, I'm not going to say no to a duel, because he knows I'm weak against the spy. But uh, that's not happening, he's going to eat a crit, crit rocket right in the face. So, uh, yep, shout to Serbian again, <laughs> love you man. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to duel me, I won't say no. So uh, yeah, get those mini duels and let's uh, let's let's get it on. Let's bring it to YouTube. Let's see what you got. And obviously, this is Dust Bowl, a very good map. I definitely enjoy it. And I'm playing defense from behind the point, so I can always see it. I can see everyone coming from all across the map in my field of view. Especially looking out for spies that will cloak and then we'll just switch and then hop on the point. And then this point obviously caps really fast if you ever played it. So I'm definitely doing this to be a team player. And one thing that really distinguishes the good players from the average player is knowing the angles. Especially on Bad Company 2, if you know the angles from where you can hit and not be hit, it just helps you so much and it makes you that much of a better player. So it's learning the map and learning the angles of where you can take hits from and all that stuff. That's just, that's a huge tip and if you get that, you will improve your game so much. And as you can see, my rage meter in the bottom right has filled up. It's red. 
So that means I can pull out the horn and toot it. I'm sitting next to the dispenser to get some health before that. So uh, you can see that it buffs the teammates around me. Yeah, that's what it does. There's a radius. I don't know how big it is, but it's it's good enough that it's you know worth using. And uh, I think the the bonus from it, it's great. It's not super incredible like the black box, obviously, but it's it's worth it's worth using. I I, I mean I'd say that. And the 175 damage about to get to fill up the rage meter is reasonable, I think, too. But and since I'm using the black box, I can't quite spam rockets like I would with the regular rocket launcher. So I'm using spam, but I'm using like calculated and estimated spam. That's actually being useful, I think. And there's only a couple seconds left. You know, 30, a couple, same thing. <laughs> And, uh, you know, Bonk Soldiers will be running to the point, so they're they're more dangerous than the Spy Crabs, for sure. The Bonk Soldiers with the hands in the air, they're just, they're they're dangerous, watch out for that. And now you might be thinking, well, why can't we hear you over the mic? Well, I wasn't exactly recording that whole thing. It it just didn't work out, the audio was screwed up, so I'm sorry about that. In the, in the later videos, you should be able to hear it, because I was a little more, uh, Drunk. I was, I was drinking for this, but just casually, so don't expect me to be saying crazy shit and all that stuff. But uh, yeah, I think this is this video need to be more informative, so I feel like this way would be the best is just to do it after the fact, so I'd have a little more experience than the you know the gameplay would show right now, so I can give you more of an insight. So defense holds, and then the dual thing announces that I won. So it'll show you the score at the end when you kill the other guy or how many times he's killed you. I got MVP, which is, you know, not, not typical, but it's a nice little surprise and, you know, it's a good feeling to have. So I like playing with you guys, see all the friends. I like it. Thanks guys for coming out for a cool little event. It was fun. And that was a pretty beast round. I ended that 69, 42, and 49 assists. So that was pretty big. And then next round I obviously died once. And then you get your bronze dueling badge, which you get no matter if you win or lose your first duel. But after that first duel, you need to win. And every 10 wins gets you a level. And you need to get to level 25 to get the next silver bronze dueling badge. I also want to say, I get a lot of messages on Steam, especially if I'm playing. I'm sorry if I don't get back to you right away. Look at this, I get a lot of messages, so, you know, be patient. And the next map is CTF Turbine. So you have to capture the intel and then cap it three times to get the win. This is coming out of spawn down this little tunnel and usually I get sniped right out of here. Boom, die, but not this time. We're working our way up to the second level to go through the pipes. Shooting our black box. And yeah, that just happened. How tight was that? I was so pumped when that happened. So let's see that again. Bada bing, bottom boom. Uh, you're dead. You're dead, son. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. And yeah, guys, that is the first soldier gameplay of the new polycount pack with the trading all that out. So please watch for the other parts that are coming out soon. And this is soldier gameplay. Should be 2142. Make sure you guys subscribe. I'll talk to you later. Man, I love Team Fortress 2. I love playing soldier, but, you know, I think I want to go on YouTube. What should I look at? I never know what's posted. I don't know what's good. Hmm. You know what? You should subscribe to the Shibby2142. Click the button right up there, guys. Leave a comment down here if you want to know something. You know, I'll get back to you when I have time. And that's pretty much it. I think all three of those things, you know. Team Fortress, you know, it's pretty cool. You know, Soldier, it's alright. YouTube, pretty cool. Shibby2142, guys. What's up? That's <laughs> it, son. I am the rocket man they talk about. I jump from star to star. I